Hello and welcome to another tutorial with Roaring Records. Today I want to talk a little bit about how to turn a completed project that you've made into an mp3 or a WAV file or whatever it is that you so choose. So um, let's just dive right in. I've got a project here. I'm just going to play a little bit of it so you can hear it. <music> Yeah, so you can see it's essentially a completed project. It's serving its purpose right now. And what we want to do is we want to bounce this project. The term is bounce. Turn it from a logic file into an MP3 that you can play on your telephone or you can play on uh, a computer or a Google Drive or whatever it is that you're going to be sharing your device information out to. So one of the first steps of doing something like this is to um, decide exactly where the parameters are that you want to bounce. I like to do this with my cycle region. So I turn my region on by clicking on it, or if you want to, you can just click and drag. And what you need to do is highlight the beginning to the end of what you want. Now, if it was the middle portion of a really long project that you were bouncing, only highlight the middle portion. If it's all of it, start at the beginning and then move to there. All that does is automatically set the beginning and ending points to your project. There are a few different places we can select the bounce menu. One of them is to go file, bounce, project, or section. And that will bring up this screen. It's exactly the screen we're looking for. You could also do Command B on your typing keyboard. That would bring up the menu, or in your track inspector, you can use the BNCE tool, which stands for bounce. Again, that brings us to the same screen. If you want to bounce to a high quality PCM style file, such as WAVE, AIF, or CAF, then you can do so by checking beside PCM, typically, a lot of people these days want to do mp3s they're much smaller i would highly recommend for the quality of your mp3 you could set it up to 300 kbps um, for both mono and stereo to get the highest quality rating out of your um, project um, you'll see that the start and end times are measure one beat one moment one to measure 34 beat one so um, that's set to cover exactly what we wanted it to in the project. I recommend offline mode, especially if you're in a hurry. If you're in real time, it's going to do the project and play the project. Uh, offline will do it generally a little bit faster unless you're using a lot of plugins. Um, and normalize. Um, normalize is a fickle beast, and you can choose to do what you want. If you turn normalize off completely, then you better make sure that nowhere in your project do you clip on your main stereo out channel, meaning you go above the nominal level of zero uh, on this meter. Um, it'll turn red if you do, because if you don't, if you have normalize off and you do that, then it's going to get a lot of distortion. Overload protection will protect you from that by reducing the overall volume, but know that your project is going to be softer than what you were hearing when you were playing it back to yourself in Logic. And then if you turn Normalize on, if it's too soft or too loud, it'll fix it to a um, medium volume. So I've got the settings the way I prefer to have it right now, and all you have to do is hit OK. It's going to ask you where you want to um, save this uh, information and let's see let's just save it to um, how to videos so that's a good place for us to have it and it's going to be called the football hype video or football hype mp3 and all I hit is Since it was in offline mode, you saw that it scanned through the project relatively quickly. Now, if I was to go to my finder and um, we put it on our desktop and it was in the how-to video file, now you can see the football hype is there and I can play it as an MP3.
and it's an mp3 so it can be shared out however you want it i uh, hope you found that helpful come on back for some more tutorials later